everyone and welcome back today I'm gonna show you how to create something out of this thing and this one so let's go you will need a coffin or a rectangular box sponges foam board for the books and the shelf faux velvet fabric cardboard a piece of patterned paper bits and pieces to decorate with other things you might need are glue, polymer clay, a brown paper bag, acrylic paints, needle and thread, an awl or a large needle, scissors, a craft knife, a ruler and a pencil. This box has seen better days, let's fix this up. We start by tracing the box on the pattern paper. Trace around the box so you get the exact shape. Then make sure you get the internal measurements right. And cut to size. Make sure the piece fits inside and then glue it down. Measure the depth of the box for the shelving. Cut a piece of black foam board to size. Measure the width, cut the size and glue down. Make as many shelves as you want. I made three. Now the next bit is open to interpretation. I wanted some vials in there, some creepy hands, some books. So here I'm just cutting off the arms of a skeleton, filling up some bottles with whatever I could find and make them look creepy. Use whatever you already have. I am using faux moss, um, but this could be stuff from your garden, beads, glitters, anything. Glue all the decorations down with the E6000 glue. Tear small strips from the brown paper bag and use them as labels for the bottles. Create your books by gluing pieces of paper to the side of the foam board and cutting them to size. Color the covers of the books with markers. If you have enough books, glue them all into place. Use as many decorations as you want until you are happy with the result. Take the sponges and tear off the green part. I used four sponges for this project. 
trace the box shape onto the cardboard. Then make sure you get the internal measurements again and cut down to size. Make sure it fits in the box. And then start gluing the sponges onto the cardboard and trim off the excess. When you're done, it should look like this. As we're going to tuft the fabric, make sure you mark where you want the indents to be. Then make sure you make holes on either side of the markings. And this is what it should look like. Cut the fabric to size. Thread the needle with whatever color fabric you're using. Put the needle through one hole, through the fabric to the front and then back down through the other hole to the back and tie a knot at the back and pull the fabric tight. You will have to continue this process for all the tufts you have made and this will be the longest process of all the things you're doing. But the end result is absolutely amazing and it should look something like this. You can use store bought buttons for this step but I made my own with polymer clay. Just by cutting little pieces of clay and then rolling them into balls, pushing them flat, putting two little holes in them with a needle. I then painted them with glittery acrylic paint. Now attach all the buttons to the fabric, like the first step of sewing. You can also glue them into place, but I decided to sew them for this step. And this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with this result. They actually look like little Jack Skellingtons if you look closely. To finish this part of the project, glue the fabric to the back. And this is it all done. Now you can go ahead and glue this piece inside the box. And this is it all done. This was only part one of this project. This Friday I will post part two and you can see how I will decorate the front of the coffin. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates. Thank you all for watching and see you on Friday for the second part of this project. Bye!